gentleman. Yes. One gentleman. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> many of you. Thank you, one sir, for showing up. <laughs> That's a rarity. How are we feeling tonight? Yeah. Most of you have been drinking. We can do better than that. Yeah. Much better. Welcome to the Richmond Burlesque Review! Finger beauty. Now, before we get started, I'd like to get something out of the way early on. It's a thing that I like to do. How many of you have been to a burlesque show before? How many of you have never been to a burlesque show before? That, are, that haven't are just raising hands. <laughs> That's what we do? Is this the thing that we have? Don't call on me for shit, please. Please do. Exactly. Please do. No, I like your style. Well done. Look, so, one of the things I like to do, and I've already kind of broken my rule just a little bit, but we're going to start off by, my dear, I'm picking on you. I mean, I'm going to hand you or point the mo microphone at you. And when I do, say clearly, concisely, your favorite curse word. Ready? Here we go. The littering cunt monkey. Oh! I'm gonna need to hear that one more time. One more time. The littering cunt monkey. <laughs> The mental image of what that is will be with me. You've just given me my new back tattoo. I want you to know. Dude, what the hell is that? That's a glittering cunt monkey. Check that shit out. Perfect. Wow, that's, I mean, most people are just like, shit, or ha. It's like, don't get me wrong, fuck is a great word, it's a versatile word, it's a word that I love, it's dear to my heart, but glittering, Cunt monkey. Not only that, but it also has my f my personal favorite curse word in it, which is a word that most people don't ever get to use, which is cunt. Um, I'm just saying. And so for any of you who are offended by such language, first of all, you're at the wrong fucking show. And second of all, if any of you are truly, deeply, honestly offended by anything that it happens here tonight, uh, she started it, so blame her. Go find her after the show and leave my ass alone. All right. Unless you don't want to leave my ass alone, and then you come see me after the show. You meant it. We'll work with it. It's fun. It's going to be that kind of night. So. For those of you who have never been to a burlesque show before, before we kick things off, I'd like to go over a little thing that we call burletiquette. That is the etiquette of burlesque. To help me out this evening, I'm going to invite our stage kitten and local pickup artist, as it were, Zatora, onto the stage. Zatora, ladies and gentlemen. So we encourage clapping, whistling, hooting, hollering, catcalling the whole night. We encourage that. Do keep the heckling down to a minimum, as these women work very hard to do what they do. But, to give you a little bit more of an idea as to what I mean, if you were to see a little something like this... Alright, good. Some of you are getting it. Let's try it one more time. If you were to see a little something like this... Thank you very much. You'll be seeing much more of her later on. Always lovely. No, no, stay, stay, I'm stay. So, what you say, we kick this shit off the right way. You guys ready to start the show? Before I forget, as I have a tendency to do, for those of you who do not know me, I am your host for this evening. I am the amiable, affable, rarely laughable, hum most humble man you will ever meet. Ego Von Hubris. And I know 
what you're thinking. My god, that man is sexy, and you are right. <laughs> For those of you who weren't thinking it, start. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> what, someone in the back is just going, okay. <laughs> so, what you say we invite our first performer up onto the stage, shall we? You guys didn't come here for me. For those of you who didn't come for me, we'll have the opportunity to later. Yeah. <laughs>